Hi, hey, welcome back guys to the Bearded Shaver. Today I'm going to be doing a face shave. I just finished a head shave um, and I still have some lather left over so I wanted to go ahead and use that and not put it to waste. Uh, so we are doing today a Phoenix shaving video all about their starter kit. Oh, the starter kit came with Future Fiction Shave Soap. Also came with the Green Ray brush, still lather on there for my head shave, which I'm gonna use. Also came with the Symmetry razor. It is a three-piece razor. And sorry about the door behind me. My dog Finley here just uh, decided to open up the door and see what I was doing. Hey, Finley. Let me close that back up real quick. Uh, silly dog. He, uh, not getting attention. He likes to come and find his attention. He is a, uh, Amstaff, which is an American Staffordshire Terrier. The cousin to the pit bull. But they love attention. So, I also got the Enigma Cube from Phoenix Shaving as well. All of that, um... Cost $60 with shipping. Now that is minus the shave cube. The shave cube was sold separately from the wet shaving kit. Uh, the wet shaving starter kit was only $45. The Enigma shave cube was $11. Uh, awesome deal, guys. Awesome deal from Phoenix Shaving. Again, they are not a sponsor of my videos. Uh, it's just something I tried, and I absolutely love their shaving soap, their synthetic brushes, and the Enigma Cube. I love them. It is great. It gives a nice, smooth, slick shave. All right. It also came with three packs of blades. Today, I'm going to be using the Strange Lit Blade. So let's go ahead and get loaded up here. I'm sorry, the paper's being a little difficult. Now, here we go. Phoenix Shaving Platinum Strangelet Blade. And I believe I am pronouncing that right. Let's get our razor loaded. Any three-piece razor, I'm not going to show you how to load it. Most people know how to do it. If not, there are plenty of YouTube videos out there on how to load a three-piece razor. And then I'll let you look here at the symmetry. All right, so the symmetry, close comb guard, beautiful knurling on there. It's got the little Phoenix shaving logo on there, the little mustache guy. The knurling is great while it's wet. Extremely grippy. As Douglas Smythe from Phoenix Shaving, who is the owner of Phoenix Shaving, likes to say, he is a, sh a shower shaver, and he needs something that has a lot of grip. This has a lot of grip when it's wet. So, thank you, Doug. I'm going to go ahead and get my face wet here, and get ready for the pre-shave, the Enigma Cube. All right, put a little water on the Enigma Cube here. And since I have a beard, I only have to shave neck and the cheeks. Get a little more water.
All right, and since I already lathered up my brush, and again, there are plenty of videos out there on how to lather your brush. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. It's gonna add a little water to mine since it's been sitting here for a few minutes. Look at that lather, guys. I absolutely love this synthetic brush. And yes, I probably did overload this, but I uh, shaved my head with it earlier, so kind of needed it in case I needed a second pass. I didn't, but eh, it is what it is. I'll set this off to the side. Now I did have my shaving brush sitting in a cup of hot water uh, while I was doing my head shave. So it did sit and I did bloom my shaving soap. And the shaving soap is awesome. All types of butter in it. Now we got, first off, glycerin. We have shea butter. We have cocoa butter. Got avocado, got jojoba seed oil, and kapakui butter, I believe that's how you pronounce it, uh, murmur seed butter, bakuril, or bakuri seed butter, and parfum for the fragrance. Awesome soap. All right, let's get to the shave. Finding the angle, the angle on this blade is super easy. A nice light touch. You don't want to be pressing this like you do a cartridge razor. And you're going with the grain. Now, I do have one part on my beard here and here that it grows sideways. Everything else grows down. But if I go against the grain on that, it actually will cause ingrown hairs and irritation. So I just go down, which is basically across that grain, going down with the rest of the grain, and I don't get ingrown hairs. And that's funny because right here, I had an ingrown hair from the other day from another blade I was using, and it hasn't gone away. Eh, you do your best. Right, I'm going to add a little water to my face. I have been talking a little bit and it did go a little bit dry. There we go. Let's continue with our shave. I already got a few little nicks. It's the price you pay when you're just trying to find um, the angle, the proper angle using a new blade. Pressure, all that good stuff. But nothing the Allen Block can't take care of. Uh, right here, I tend to run into problems. My hair grows in a swirl pattern right there. So no matter how I shave it, I always end up cutting myself a little bit.
All right, let's get the cheeks. The cheeks are the simplest part of my shaves. All right. Now you can do another pass. Actually, you can do a few more passes. Uh, first you go with the grain, then across the grain, then against the grain. Since it is on my neck, I cannot do either. It irritates me way too much. Now I did get a few little weepers here, guys. Uh, that's because I'm filming and talking to you. Typically when I'm shaving, I don't film. And I pay a little bit more attention. But again, nothing a little all in black can't take care of. And if I have a really a bleeder, I got my uh, styptic pencil back here that I can use. So let's go ahead and get out my all in black. I got mine from GBS Shaving. Came with that and I believe 36 blades as a package for, I don't know, $10 off of Amazon. Now I'm going to run a little cold water on this. And give it a pass. And you can already see where my irritation's at. I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes. Drain my sink here. And I'm going to give myself a cold rinse to close off the pores. Uh, the all in block did help out closing my pores as well. And get my cold water ready. And you can already see my weepers here have already stopped bleeding. All right, guys. So for today's video, I did use the wet shaving starter kit from Phoenix Shaving. Comes in a box exactly like this, slides out. I don't have product in here, but I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. First off, that's an awesome case, guys. Magnetic clasp. And check that out. Comes with a wet shaving guide. Awesome for beginners. And you can see the places where everything goes. So again, came with the Green Ray Shave Brush. Great throwback to EverReady brushes. Nice weight, nice synthetic brushes. Makes a great lather, as you can see. That holds a lot of soap for very little effort. Got the Future Fiction shave soap right here also came with a little sample of future fiction aftershave i don't really use aftershave on my neck it gets really irritated i tend to use lotion instead but it comes with it comes also with the phoenix shaving symmetry clothes comb 
Comes with also three packs of five blades each. It comes with the Platinum Strangelet from Phoenix Shaving. Comes with five shark blades and comes with five Russian blades. Um, I can't remember the name of them. Um, and it's over here in the other room, so I can't go grab it here. A great, great deal for $45, guys. $45 for all of that. Amazing. All right, so it looks like my shave here is done. Again, if you guys have any comments, questions, leave them down below. And I'd love to hear from you. Thank you again, and see you soon.